Hello, so today we'll see a very beautiful problem from uh, abstract algebra. So it is here. So here I'm reading that problem. If R is a ring with unity, so very important it is. If R is a ring with unity and characteristic of R is n, where n is a natural number, then R contains a subring which is isomorphic to ZN. So you can say other way that if you take a ring with unity and uh, if the characteristic of R is N, then inside R, we have a copy of ZN. So this is in mathematical language that uh, R contain a subring which is isomorphic to ZN. So we'll prove it. So basically here we have to note two point. The ring is a ring with unity and it has characteristic N. Somehow we will use these two concept. So the proof here basically like this. So let uh, R is a ring. With unity. Say. We denote the unity by one suffix R. So this is our unity. So unity means the multiplicative identity. So it has the property basically that, uh, let me write here, that if you take any element from the ring A and multiple with IR and IR multiple with A, then we get back A. This is the property of I suffix R. So say element, unity. So R is a ring with unity IR. We want to prove that uh, inside R, we have a subring that is actually isomorphic to the ring ZN. So how to prove? So defined here basically a map. So, so defined, so define a rule. I'm not writing here map. Here it is to be note. I'm writing here rule. Define a rule say psi from z of n to the ring r by psi of any element x bar if we take from z n then where we are sending we are sending to this x i r so x one r so what is meaning of this this meaning i'm writing here x i r mean basically we are taking x times sum of ir so x times sum of the identity element ir here x time for example if we are if we write down 3 ir then that means 3 ir mean ir plus ir plus ir three time ir right so now we have to check the point here that uh, we have to check uh, three basically firstly we have to check this rule is a map then we prove this will be a ring homomorphism and also prove it will be a injective ring homomorphism. So that is our goal, next goal. So let me first here uh, check the well-definedness of this map. So well-defined. Well-defined it. This rule is a map basically. So as we know, how to check some map is well-defined. We'll start like this. So let uh, so uh, so okay all right so let, let different so <clears throat> so here so let uh, i'm taking here uh, let's say x bar equals to y bar where i'm assuming that uh, x bar and y bar belong to zn with x is less than y. Okay, so because Zn contain the element of the form 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, dot 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 up to n bar. So now here, what we can show now, if we have two elements which are equal in Zn, then from here we can conclude that, that uh, you know, that x modulo congruent y 
Okay, so or you can write like this that uh, I mean, so here x equals to equals to y modulo n. So this is equivalently saying that y minus x is divisible by it is divisible by basically n. So now this imply this y minus x is a positive quantity, right? So because we assume y is greater than x. So y minus x equals to n into let's say k for some k positive integer. Why we guaranteed that k will be positive because y minus x is a positive quantity. We already know n is positive. So k must be positive. So, uh, right. So now, now what we can say from here that we can write y equal to basically n k plus x. So this is everything. This equation you can think in the set of natural number. Y is a natural number. N k x all are natural number. So there are the counting number. Now, now what we are trying to check that. Now let calculate y. Now, if we calculate psi of y, what it will be? It will be basically y time i of r. So this means we are taking y times sum of i r. So now see what y mean what we know y mean if you go back to the previous page it is n k plus x. So n k plus x i r. So this mean what we are taking so here the sum will be here basically i r plus i r plus dot 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 i of r. How many times? So n k plus x time. We are taking this time sum of i r. Now we can separate this sum actually two part n k times and x time. So how it looks like then i r plus i r plus uh, dot 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 plus i of r. So here we are taking n k times, right? We can do it because if you have eight mangoes, then you can think it is five mangoes and three mango like this. So then what it will be? It will be IR plus IR plus dot 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 plus I of R. So here how many times we are taking IR? We are taking IR X time. So basically the previous lines we separate into two parts. First we took NK times IR and then we took X time IR. Now see one thing here that this this is basically you can think here that uh, okay now now what you can do that uh, see basic idea here that uh, you can replace this by ir plus ir plus this expression you can replace it you can also separate here you can take n times and you this multiple with ir plus dot 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 ir. So here how many times? This is total each k times. We can do it. Okay. So why? Why? Because because here it is possible because you know ir, if you product with ir, then you will get ir. And you know the distributive law. Also we use the distributive law of ring. These two things. IR into IR equal to IR. So basically here we had to write that IR you can replace by IR into IR. So IR into IR then you know if you go to the distributive property then this above expression you can write down or you can replace the product of to this type of expression. Right and here what we are getting we are getting IR plus IR plus dot dot dot, dot I of R X type. Now see this is in the short notation it will be n of ir and then into k of ir and then plus it will be x of ir. Now look see here what happened you know the characteristic of ring is n. So this part we can replace by zero element of the ring into k of ir and plus x of ir. So because why? Because see here, I am writing here the characteristic of the ring is n. So that's why you can replace. 
and of ir by 0 now this is what this is basically if you multiple any element by 0 you will get the 0 so therefore it will be what it will be 0 r plus x of ir so this is nothing but you know if you add zero element with any element in a ring the you will get back the ring itself so this is nothing but psi of x bar so what we are getting so we are getting if x bar equal to y bar then we are getting psi of x bar equal to psi of y bar so so every element so see this rule basically taking psi this rule actually taking every element okay so into a unique element inside r right so therefore it is a map so psi this rule psi is a map so well defined map basically it is a map now now we prove that this is a ring homomorphism so now the next part is it is a ring homomorphism so ring homomorphism so here that uh, so now uh, let two element we are taking x bar and y bar from let's say we are taking from uh, let's say we are taking from x bar and y bar we are taking from z now if we calculate psi of x bar plus y bar we know how we 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 add in zn so we have to add x and y and then taking the bar so x plus y then whole bar so basically this is what this is basically x plus y of ir so we are taking ir x plus y time so we are taking the sum of ir so basically if you expand this you will get ir plus ir so the previous concept we will use here basically ir how many times this is x plus one times x plus y times now we can separate into two but firstly we can take here r x time then we will take then we will take y time so now now what we can do here basically we'll take here the y time so ir ir plus dot dot dot, dot plus ir so this is basically x time and this is here x time y times right so this is nothing but psi of x bar plus psi of y bar so what we are getting we are getting psi of x bar plus y bar equal to psi of x bar plus psi of y bar so you take this is one right so now now We'll, we'll see that psi also preserve the multiplication. So how to do it? Now, if we apply psi to this product, x bar and y bar, so it will be what? Psi of x into y whole bar. Because you know x bar and y bar how defined? It is basically you just first multiple x with y, then take the bar. So what is this? This is basically x, y you know ir by definition of psi so now here important thing to be note i am using the second page so here it is what it is basically ir plus ir plus dot 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 ir how many times so we are taking xy time so here actually we have used the importantness of the unity the property of ir why because ir you can replace by ir into ir although we have used this concept before so before mean here we have basically used uh, let me this 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 situation we have used now if we take this we replace ir by ir ir so here it will be ir into ir so here how many time we have here xy time total now Using the distributive law, what we can write, we can write here IR plus IR plus dot 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 IR. See here, why we can write from here to here because IR we can replace by IR into IR. So this is very important. If IR is not a unity element, 
is not the unity element in the ring, then this line we cannot write. So that, that's why here unity is very important. So IR plus IR plus dot, 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 I of R. So one thing here that, uh, you know, maybe it can be true if you take here the idempotent element, a square equal to A, then it will work. So you can realize that if you take here, if you can write A equal to A into A, if you have a, some element in the ring, such that uh, a into a equal to a then that situation you can do it so so if you have a ring which contain a element a such that a square equal to a that situation you know this uh, the map if you define psi of x bar equal to x a bar a then that situation the map also will be a ring homomorphism right so all all the property will be say i am not sure the well definedness you can prove, but this part at least multiplication actually preserved. Right. So this is what this is basically this is x time. Okay. And this is we are taking y times. So right. So this is what this is psi of x bar and psi of y bar. So what we are getting, we are getting psi of x bar into y bar equal to psi of x bar into psi of y bar. So you can take this is two. Uh, okay, so by one, two, one and two, we get psi is a ring homomorphism. Is a ring homomorphism, right? So now we'll check this ring homomorphism is basically, this ring homomorphism is basically a Injective ring homomorphism. Okay, so so now the injective part, injectivity of psi. So how to do it? So basically, so let so see. Okay, so we can check injectivity by just using the 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 by just finding the kernel is trivial. So that way we can do okay. So this is the, or you can go to the map definition, how to check injective. The two distinct element goes to two distinct points. So that way you can do. So I'm using here the kernel because I'm assuming that all are familiar with the kernel. I mean, so concept of kernel, a map, basically a homomorphism will be a uh, injective homomorphism if uh, the kernel is trivial. So let's say, let X bar belongs to the kernel of the site. So kernel mean what? It contains those elements that map the zero element. So now then this imply what? That psi of x bar equal to basically zero element of the ring. So this is what? This is basically x of ir equal to the zero element of the ring. So now see, now here interesting thing that since the characteristic of, so then n must divide x. Why? Since the characteristic of the ring is n, so, and IR is the unity element. So, additive order, additive order. So, the additive order of IR is basically N. And we know by Lagrange theory, if you have this type of situation that, let me write here, if you have order of A equals to, let's say, N, and if you have a to the power m equals to identity, then we know what n divides m. So this situation we know. Using that, we can conclude this. Here we are considering the additive group. So now what we can conclude here that x equal to it will be n into t for some t, natural number, right? So, so now if you calculate x bar, what it will be? It will be n t bar. So this means this is nothing but, you know, n bar into t bar. So this is nothing but, you know, 0 bar into t bar. So this is 0 bar. So what we are getting? So we are getting that kernel of this ring homomorphism is trivial, contain only the 0 element. So, so what we are getting? So we are getting that psi is injective. So this is injective ring homomorphism. Right. So what we are getting? So we are getting that psi from Zn to the ring R is a injective 
injective ring homomorphism. So, so you can think. So now take. So now take this the image. Now we are considering the image. So, so then so so you can write like this. So psi from Zn to the image, or you can say the range set of Zn. This is the subset of R. Now, if you think Zn from, you know, psi is from Zn to image of I n is an is an isomorphism. Of course, the ring isomorphism. So, of course, the ring ring isomorphism. So, so what we are getting? We are getting Zn isomorphic to image of Zn. Now, what is the image? Image is basically here this form that x of i of r such that 0 less equal to you can take x less equal to n minus 1. And this is the sub ring of r. Okay. So if you have a ring r with unity and characteristic of the ring is n, then from then there inside r we have a copy of Zn. So there is an algebraic structure which is same like as Zn. Okay. Although the symbol are different. So now here note uh, that uh, I'll, I'll use this fact so later. So note if uh, characteristic of the ring R is P where P is prime, right? Then, then R contains, contains a, a subfield, subfield which is isomorphic to ZP. Its proof is similar because you know characteristic n and now n is replaced by p. So there is a there is a sub ring of R which is isomorphic to ZP as a ring. Now ZP is a field so the that sub ring also will be a field. So now one more thing here this is one note and note two if uh, of course i am assuming here that if characteristic of course i am assuming here it contain a unity so if uh, characteristic of r equals to p then then r you know r then r we can consider then we can consider we can make you can say we can make r as a ZP vector space. So if you take if you take any ring with unity and characteristic of the ring is P, then that ring we can think as a vector space over ZP. Because why? Because you know inside R we have a copy. So here what happening? So basically we have the ring here R. Now inside R we have a copy. So Z of ZP, this is the subfield. Basically, here we have ZP. Now ZP to Z, this ring R, we have a basically the map. So it is the copy. So in J, you know, isomorphism copy of ZP. So now this is a subring of R. Also, it is a subfield. It is a field structure. Every non-zero element of ZP has a inverse. So now we can make it is a vector space. How? Just here because it is a ring, so it has a addition. R has a addition and scalar multiplication. And you know sub ring always if you consider. So if you take, so this is, let me tell you here. If uh, S is a sub ring of R, then you know we can define plus from R to R to R by how? Take element S you know, circle plus B equal to the ring plus and scalar multiplication S cross R to R by how? Lambda into A equal to lambda of A. Then, you know, then it, it satisfies all the axiom of vector space. So now in particular, if S is a field, then R we can consider as a vector space over S. Now here it will be. So, so what we have learned here that if we have a ring of characteristic P, P is prime, then that ring we can think as a vector space over that subspace. 
now here a problem let me ask here you, you can try it so in next video i'll prove it theorem any any ring any let's say any yeah any ring r hmm, with uh, unity and characteristic of, oh, okay any ring with unity and uh, and uh, cardinality of r is p square so let me write here so any ring with unity and cardinality of p square so the if so you can write like this if r is a ring with unity if r is a ring if r is a ring with unity and the cardinality of r is p square p prime then then r is a commutative ring so under multiplication it will satisfy the commutative property this will prove so any ring with unity here very important unity part if unity is not given so then there is a counter example so if your ring so there is a ring of order type p square which is with no unity then that ring may not be commutative we have an example i will tell you later so this theory will prove in the next uh, you know video i'll prove that but uh, uh, so why i make this video uh, so because of this uh, theorem proof so i'll see we'll see in the next video so just carefully uh, you think about this that uh, you know uh, inside this theorem what we have done you know inside ring structure uh, you know ring if you start we start with the ring then uh, inside ring we can put the vector space structure and lots of theory we can use from the vector space that is our idea okay see you in the next video and in the next video i'll prove this one thank you so much